subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. 7 Plus versus the iPhone 10s Maximum Prime or wait a minute, is that the is that the iPhone 10s Maxi Pad or is that the iPhone oh it's the iPhone 10s Max. Let's go ahead and begin with a boot up test in 3 2 1. What name can you come up with? Well, funny name for the iPhone 10s Max. I got TJ Max, I got Maximum Prime or Maximus Prime. I think it's a transformer. But is it a transformer in speed? Has it transformed to the next level of speed? We're going to see if it boots up first over the 7 Plus both running iOS 12 and no, the 7 Plus with the win and somebody said yesterday, well, I I could swear the brightness has something to do with the boot up. So what I did before this video, just to see if that was true, is I put them at the same level of brightness. So that really makes no difference. As you can see right here, the seven plus was the winner here in the boot up test. Okay guys, so let's test the lock screen time. You can see very similar performance to respond there. What about the cameras? Very close there. I think the 10S Max slightly, and you can see the seven plus slightly there. And again, so it's pretty close on the camera lock screen, no problems on that one, but you do have the addition of the camera little 3D touch thing where you can just hit this camera guy right here and go right into the 10s Max. So that's a new addition. If you had a plus phone before, you can now go like that to go into the camera from the lock screen for the 10s Max. Okay guys, so here we are at the application speed test portion. Before we begin, let's talk a little bit about the processors A10 Fusion chip clocked in at 2.5. 34 gigahertz and over here we have an apple a12 bionic we don't really see that here geekbench has to update this but this has four gigabytes of ram you can see 3.65 gigs available but a12 bionic over here so let's go ahead now close that out and begin the speed test of these applications now i did add asphalt legends to this gaming row as so we can get one more graphically intensive game in here let's begin with calendar three two one and you could see very similar performance there. Now, this swipe mechanism to go back home does feel a little faster than Touch ID, but coming home is about the same. iOS 12 has really brought new life to these older devices. You can see calculator about the same. What about Twitter? And Twitter does load first for the iPhone 7 Plus, then the 10s Max scrolling through. Shouldn't see too much of a difference. Some people are saying that they think that the reason why the 10s Max is not performing quite as well as it can is because the resolution and four gigs of RAM, maybe it just needs an update. You can see right there, Snapchat about the same. What about Instagram? And I think applications for the device still will get faster over time, but it's a brand new device with a brand new screen size. Developers got to do some work before the phone's going to be totally perfectly fast. Like these older ones, which are a lot easier to code for since they've been on the market forever. So you can see Instagram performance about identical on both. Let's go ahead and open up a photo on both of these devices. My latest 10s Max photo. You can see very, it looked like the 10s Max was ahead on that one. Let's go ahead and click another photo. And you can see the 10s Max slightly ahead. What about WhatsApp? You can see WhatsApp performance looks like the 7 Plus. What about YouTube? And YouTube might go to the 10s Max. Yes, it does to the 10s Max scrolling through. But I mean, you could see how close the 7 Plus is there. And uh, if you wanted to wait till the notch is gone, the 7 Plus will probably make it till them days. And you could see coming home, let's go into Prime Video. Or you can just pick up the 10s Max because of that beautiful large screen and you like the newer design. But Prime Video won there for the iPhone 7 Plus. Loading a movie though, no problem. Let's go into Amazon 3, 2, 1. And you can see Amazon is first on the right over the 7 Plus. So this one's a lot more wins going to the 10s max and the 8 plus was the 8 plus held there and even one in some areas over the 10s max you can see let's go into the slither 3 2 1 and see if the 10s max can show its power there and it does it wins on the first game and i expect it to win on all of these games as it does have a much more powerful internals let's go into jetpack joyride and here we're still on some casual stuff you can see the Apple A12 Bionic with the win. And the 7 Plus is no slouch either. It's pretty fast. Let's go into Dead Trigger 2, a more graphically intensive game here. It's like medium intensive. You can hit play. We've seen that the 10s Max was a win there over the 7 Plus, but I'm pretty sure that the 7 Plus users seeing this are pretty proud of that performance so far. Okay, so let's head into PUBG. Okay, so let's head into PUBG Mobile. 
and see which one loads this first. I will skip ahead as this one takes quite a bit of time to load up. It's a much more demanding game for both devices. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so the iPhone XS Max was there. Let's hit start. The XS Max was there over the 7 Plus. So this shows that it definitely is a more powerful device as it loads up PUBG Mobile first and the match is also first. And you'll probably win more matches due to better performance on the iPhone XS Max. But if you don't have no skill, then you still might lose some matches here. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and launch Asphalt 9, 3, 2, 1 and see which one gets there First, it looks like the 10s Max is ahead, but can it beat the iPhone 7 Plus here? And the 7 Plus is ready to go on this application, but what about the 10s Max? And there is the 10s Max, so that was pretty surprising. Let's hit play here and try to get into a match really quickly or a race and see which one can load that up first. Said next. Said next here for the 7 Plus. And let's hit this guy right here. And let's hit play at the same time. Three, two, one. And see which one can load up the match first. And here we go. You can see it looks like the 10s Max is ahead on these graphics. And there is the 7 Plus. So, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. But the 10s Max definitely ahead here when it comes to... The load time so it kind of lost on the you know the start of the game but when you actually get into the game and you're loading the more graphically intensive stuff like the actual game where you're racing the 10s max was ahead let's go into n22 benchmark and you can see that's a win for the 10s max let's go into a geek bench and you can see that's a win for the 7 plus and come on tennis there we go again i think this app needs to be optimized first let's go into speed test you can see even performance there and I'm pretty impressed with the way the 7 Plus is holding its own against the 10s Max. You can see the 10s Max is first there for video shop. And let's go into camera. I'm going to lift the phones up for this one. Three, two, one. You can see 10s Max there. And again, you can see pretty much the 10s Max there. So I think overall the 10s Max won this speed test on the single apps, but the 7 Plus won a few here and there. So overall, I think just opening these daily apps is pretty close in speed. And again, like I said, with the 8 Plus, if you're coming up from a 7 Plus, look to the other upgrades, the OLED screen, the giant bigger screen than you have on the 7 Plus, the better cameras on the rear. Look to these other upgrades because right now the speed is not too much different even here versus the 7 Plus, but definitely did better against the 7 Plus than the 8 Plus. Okay, guys, RAM management. We're going to go through these applications to see if we get any reloads on either camera. The point of this is to just see how it holds these applications in the background. This is a lot of apps for a phone to hold, so there might be reloads on them. Let's go into Asphalt Legends, and you could see both reloaded, but the iPhone 7 Plus was lagging behind in terms of that speed. PUBG in the same place as it was. I probably got killed in that match because I wasn't playing. Let's go into Dead Trigger 2. You can see the 7 or the 7 Plus was in the match, whereas for some reason 10s Max went back to the beginning. Let's go into Jetpack Joyride. And you can see about the same Slither. And back to the home screen there for Slither on the 10s Max. Let's go into eBay. And you can see eBay is about the same Amazon. Amazon about the same here on RAM. Let's go into Prime, Prime held. Let's go into YouTube. And YouTube held just fine on both. WhatsApp. WhatsApp held just fine. Instagram. Instagram about the same. Snapchat. Both held Snapchat. No problems. What about Twitter? Three, two, one. And Twitter is in RAM for both of them. What about Clock? You can see RAM in both of them. Calculator on both of them. And Calendar. And a 7 Plus animation, a little bit slower there to load. But overall, I think it's a pretty close to even draw here on this RAM management. They both held the applications in the background. So I can't call this much of a difference either at this current point. Okay, so here we are at the internet test. And look at that size of the screen just covering all them bezels that you had on the iPhone 7 Plus. We're only a notch away from a perfect iPhone screen. Let's go into Apple.com, 3, 2, 1. And you could see the tennis max ahead on that one. Let's go ahead and open a new tab here and let's go to this guy and this guy right here. And let's go to how about CNET three, two, one and see which one opened that first. And you could see it's the right for the iPhone tennis max. So a little bit there to the tennis max. Let's go ahead and open up yahoo.com three, 
to one. And you can see Yahoo for the right. So the internet performance looks better here and they are connected to the same Wi-Fi network for the 10s Max. So, and it's a bigger, better screen. So I would say the internet performance and viewing experience just gets all the much better for the 10s Max. That's a true upgrade, I think, is the internet browsing experience, unless you really prefer that 16 by nine, you know, resolution for your internet experience. Okay, so I shot a five minute 4K30 video here in Video Shop to render out on both of them at the same time to see which one can compile this video first. Now you can see optimization issues right here. It should say edit right there in the notch. This is where we need fixes for this larger display. But let's hit next here in three, two, one. Let's see which one can compile this video first. Now this might take a second, so I will skip ahead to the end if it takes too long here. So the iPhone 7 Plus just beat the iPhone XS Max on this video rendering test at 4K30. Now I haven't seen this before where we get a new iPhone and we compare it to an old one and it wins in the video rendering. That was pretty shocking to see because I, I would really think this newer device is gonna render video out much faster, but that's what it was there for that test at least. The iPhone 7 Plus won that one. Okay guys, so the final Geekbench scores are in and it's, a, it's an absolute crushing win for the iPhone XS Max. What else is new? Of course it's gonna win. So in conclusion, the iPhone 7 Plus runs great on iOS 12. The iPhone XS Max, I think, runs great as well, but it just needs a few updates. Developers need to update some of these apps to, to run great on the XS Max's display. That might be why some of them are loading weird and like why some of the applications didn't render out as fast, like video, shop. That might be the issue. But overall, I think the iOS experience, just Apple's part, is just fine here for the XS Max. It's pretty close to a draw. I mean, you're coming from a 7 Plus to a XS Max at the current time you're not gonna see huge performance gains. What you're gonna see is huge screen gains, beautiful large display. I mean, look at the calendars on both. You can just see. You thought the 7 Plus was big? This thing is big. Now, if you want a better camera, you'll be happy here as well. But I'm not gonna go too much more into the specs. We'll do that in a full comparison. But on the whole, it's a pretty close speed test here. Let's hear your thoughts about which one you think was faster. And if you find this video helpful, entertaining, informing, enjoying, do me a favor, click that like button for me. And if you're new here, Consider subscribing for more. We got plenty of 10S Max videos and the smaller 10S.